one of the most tedious things to do when working on a research project for class is coming up with the bibliography or the works cited page simply because taking that information out of the database and formatting it correctly so that every period every quotation mark every title all that stuff is just right that's just boring it's kind of tedious so here's a way I'm going to show you in this short video to create automatically your bibliography you're going to need two things. One of them is a browser called Firefox and you can download it for free from the web from mozilla.com slash Firefox. It works across different kinds of computers. If you use a PC, you're fine. If you use a Mac, you're fine. If you use a Linux machine, you're fine. So one tool is the web browser Firefox. Then you get this other tool, Zotero. Okay, which is a free and easy to use Firefox extension to help you collect, manage, and cite your research sources. Once you have that installed inside your Firefox web browser, what I'm about to show you is very, very easy. If you are in my EBSCOhost, you sign in as I have shown you in previous videos and then you've got your particular folders full of information that you have saved or that others have shared with you, I'm going to show you how to turn that into a bibliography using Zotero. So the first thing you want to do is to go to the folder section of your My EBSCO Host account. We're going to end up with this nice looking bibliography of over 50 different items that I found through the MLA bibliography database about film adaptations of Macbeth. It was very easy to get them formatted properly. Over here, I'm going to close this up here, my custom. I've got a folder dedicated to English 300. Inside that is a folder Macbeth. Inside that is a folder with film adaptations articles about film adaptations. So click on that. You can see there are 54 of them. I'm going to export some of those and generate a bibliography just to show you what you can do. All right, one to 50 of 54. I'm not going to do all of them because that's going to take longer than I want this video to last. But let me take the first five. All right, so let's say you've gone through, you've pulled out the ones that you don't want to use because they're too short or they're not relevant or whatever. I'm just grabbing five. You've got these different tools right here. We're going to choose the one on the farthest to the right, export. Click on export. And the database will think about it for a moment. You want to direct export to EndNote, ProSite, Citavi, or Reference Manager. So click this first one right here. Do not click Remove These Items from Folder After Saving unless you want to delete those from your account. I'm going to leave that unclicked. Now, what you don't see right now is that in Firefox, I have Zotero. So I'm going to do a command that will make Zotero visible. All the stuff down here, this is part of my web browser now. It's Zotero. I can click the X and make it go away, or I can do the special command on the keyboard and make it come back. I can even make it take up the entire web browser. As you can see, I have a bunch of stuff in my library um, already, but I'm going to show you how you can create a folder and not make changes to the currently selected library. I'm going to show you how you can create a folder that will Take these particular sources. Film adaptations. There's my folder. Make that go away. I want to save. Now, notice in the lower right hand corner something interesting is going to start happening. See that? It's saving the items out of the MLA database into my installation of Zotero. That's all five. Now, if we go back and we look at Zotero again, film adaptations. There are five of them. Highlight. I'm going to do control click on the Mac. I think it's right click on a PC. Create bibliography. I highlighted everything. Create bibliography. MLA format. Save as RTF. OK. Save it wherever you want to save it. Save. And I am done. You open it up and it looks like this. That's it.